Hello again, everyone. It's Jerry at Jerry's Old Guy Review with a little bit of detail in action. So, I was putting this video together and I've gotten a lot of questions in the comments. So, it is fortuitous that we can discuss them all. Now, everyone who knows, the SCX-10, or the SCX-6, man, I'm so used to calling them 10s. So, of course, I wanted green. So I got the green one, but I instantly realized, as always, Axial, if you're gonna make nothing but Wranglers, make the top fiberglass looking like they are. Come on. You're going to put all the stickers and do all this work. Give us something. So as this sits, I have done the wheels with just a little bit, because they're all black, just a little bit of a flat brushed aluminum center cap, did the bead locks, and then did the lettering. I did the texture to zoom, baby. The textured fenders, which they should be, and with gratuitous use and patience, tape off that sticker because it's already on there. You know, some included stickers from the kit You've got body lines. You've got to have the body lines. The only problem with body lines is I use a Sharpie and they have not come up with a flat Sharpie yet. But as you can see, even just the body lines painted make a difference in the looks of the truck. Same thing again, textured fender liners not really a lot on the bottom I tried a new paint and I'll discuss and show you some paints here in a minute for the top and I went with the 90's early 2000 they had the Sahara and it always came with brown effects so everyone's doing black doing it up different now, all it requires is rubberized undercoat if you don't want to do these fenders. The fender liners are rubberized undercoat. And you see they're textured, kind of, sort of. Textured, I already got scuffed that one up. But it's nice and textured like it should be. And they come off so it makes it very easy to paint. And then you can do the body lines when it's off. Nothing fancy, it comes with these stickers for the tail lights and it just breaks them up enough. And if you need references when you're painting, these tail lights, you can just Google, I Googled a 2010 Wrangler or 2015 or something like that. I just moved up until I found one that looked like this and they're pretty dead on accurate. I'm still doing the front and rear bumpers so I haven't done those yet. B and i I'm not in California and I don't care to have anything that says California on it. I covered that up with the included stickers in the kit you know, and then if you want to really get nuts, we'll cover, this is the same silver Sharpie that I use on the tires. I did the diff cover. And it came out okay. It's got a crazy shadow. Body's not put down. But, you know, the diff came out looking pretty different. It's going to get all scuffed up. Now, with the power of magic... We're going to do something real quick. And boom! 
This is the way the wheels look stock. Just black everything. The center caps that are, aren't on there right now, they're black. Everything's black. So if you remembered from 10 seconds ago, just that little bit of silver makes a big difference. And then the truck is exactly the same on this side. And then in the front, this is an effect I like to do because when this is all done, I'm going to spritz it with a dark brown or a tan, maybe a little black in there, just to give the whole truck a dirty, dingy kind of look. And then with these, which it makes it nice that these wipers move, so you can take them to their normal motion that they would do and what I do is I just I mark I put a full sheet of paper here and then I mark as I go up and then you're gonna have this overlap where a real wiper would overlap so you don't need to worry about that and then you just dot both sides boom 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 and then you can use a round anything you might have to trace that out. It's quick and easy and you put a fan in your painting area and you just kind of spritz in front of that fan and let the, the natural progression of the breeze blow it on the truck. So when this is all done it'll look a little different. Now not to toot my own horn or anything but I've been painting full-size CJ and Kaiser Jeeps that I've owned, I've always painted the grill black. Sometimes it was to cover up imperfections. Sometimes, you know, no reason at all, just painted it black. I've done this with every, I've had a total of four pre-Dodge Jeeps, which I like to call real Jeeps. But this one, unlike the three, which is smaller, this was so, so much nicer. So I pulled the headlight buckets out and then um, did this grill and I didn't do it perfect because it wouldn't be. Yes, Shapeways has a insert to make it look like a real Wrangler. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to work with what I had. This here is detailing with nothing. I didn't have to buy anything. It was over-the-counter, normal stuff that I had. Now, the funny thing was, these are the center caps that come with the truck. They fit perfectly. I put this on some masking tape and stuck it right in there. Covered the headlights perfect. But unlike the three, these inserts were cut really nice. So I had this overlap. So not only could I paint it flat black, but I could also use my Sharpie and paint all the grill. So, boom. Things you can have that you don't have to buy. This is regular bought at the auto parts store chrome paint with flat clear coat on it so it gives it what I was calling more of a a brushed worn chrome not the overbearing super chrome now I'm still thinking of doing some kind of design on the hood but that is for later. So now there's the top. I should do the lines for the super weird if I just want to take these off on my Wrangler. So maybe we'll still do that. I don't know. But, oh, wait a minute. The power 
of magic once again. Boom, said the lady. So as you can see, there's already dirty window. There's my guy. I told you I was going to paint his shirt, but I didn't. Because I'm still tinkering around with what else I may do with him. Wow, that's dirty. But he had a decent skin tone with these tinted windows. So I painted his hat flat gray. I gave him a little beard. Painted his eyes a little white with a little dot in them. So he looks okay. But that is it on the truck. Let's go to the products. So now, none of these paints do I do really, really large areas with. 3M Rubberized Undercoat, the Bomb Diggity. For textured paint, it is flexible. That is the key. Duplicolor, metallic chrome, not flexible. So you want to paint hard items with it only. This is a new one I'm trying. This is the roof. This is a vinyl and fabric paint. But it says right here where my finger is that it's flexible. So I'm trying this on the roof. This is my go-to. These are, most of these are duplicolor paints at your local hobby shop, or not your hobby shop, but your automotive shops. Or I'm sure Walmart and stuff has Duplicolor too. But this is Custom Wraps, it's called. This is made for painting the, your car with. Your rims, whatever, it's peelable. So it's flexible. Now I've tried this on big sections and it works great. Because that is the thing with Lexan paints, it needs to be flexible. And here is your good old-fashioned every kid's grown up with testers paint testers paint is comes in tons of colors and that is my go-to for painting heads and you know hands and you know shirts sometimes too on the bodies but that is a perfect paint for small things in my opinion because I don't think I'm very good with painting with a brush but that is generally what I use to paint things any of my detailing that's on hard stuff or non flexible stuff is generally testers so there you go the Wrangler's not done but I wanted to cover some bases with some questions and show you where I'm at so far because Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it's only minus 19 right now. But it's supposed to drop out to back in the 30s below on the weekend. I have another weekend off, and I don't think I'm getting much painting done. But there you go. I will talk to you on the next one. Uh, bye bye